Oh my gosh. Look at this map. Look how cool this is. I think Flip did this. Oh my lord. This is the map of literally our whole world. Look, you can see Medieval District right there. Wait, where's my house on this on this medi- There's the castle. There's my house right there. That's my house. So we're over there in the shopping district. Ooh, this is the shopping district here. That's where Python was uh was was spawned. That's Pearl's base over there. Dude, this is insane. Wait. It's showing me everyone online. I think. Who's online right now? Chim and Pearl. All right. So is that Chim over there? It, does it show me everyone online? No, maybe it doesn't. Look, there's a counter here, which is me. That's me right there. There's also a green dot over there. But I'm thinking that might be Fwip's one because he made the things. He made this. I have no idea. Hey, there's my fantasy castle because you can see the blue border. This is literally, this is epic. This is epic. Now this, this is epic. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a new episode of Legacy SMP. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. And um, if you want to join my public discord, it's just down there. It's just literally click description. It's in there. But we were talking about my fantasy base. I do need to pop myself over there again. Um, oh, we haven't got clouds on. Whack them on. I only like having clouds on when I'm not, um, don't have shaders on. Just because it fills the sky a little bit more. Otherwise, it's literally just blue everlasting blue. Like, I, I need something to fill the sky. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know why I'm not flying at the moment. Um, <laughs> but we are gonna be heading over to our fantasy base because I've got a few things I need to do over there. So, I need to finish a few walls over there just to encase the castle a little bit more. So, we need to finish a few walls over there, but also, I need to build a keep. I have no idea how to build a castle keep and at the size I want it. And the one person that does and knows castles in and out is Mythical Sausage, the one true king. Can we get that, please? One true king. So I've actually asked him, and all he said that um, I need to do is I need to get all of the wool that I want him to do the structure as. Because he's just going to be doing the structure, like, with wool to outline how I want it. How he thinks I should have it. So I need to get um, loads and loads of wool that he can outline it with. Um, so I need to take diamonds with me. I'm going to take my diamonds with me, go to the shopping district, try get some wool. And then also I need to drop all the wool off at his, uh, industrial base. So I do need, I reckon we'll take a barrel with us and, um, I'll take some signs with me. Or maybe actually a book. I might take a book with me. I don't know how I don't have a book. I'm taking a book because then I can actually like write what I actually want. Um, I need one piece of paper. So let's quickly grab some sugar cane. Taking all of this. Thank you very much. Okay, make the book. And then we got to get a actual book that we can write in. And I think it's just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Book and a quill. Lovely. So book and a quill, barrel. My inventory's a mess. Okay, so let's go to the shopping district. Let's quit. Oh, gosh. It's about to be... Mm. Do you know what? We'll go over to the shopping district because I've got actually another Enderman head. that I actually looted this time. Um, properly. Um, I need to put it in my clue called mob head. Um, collection. So we'll go over here. We'll buy loads of wool. Well, we'll see if, um, we'll see if Scott's got any. Oh, he's got plenty. We'll do it in light blue. How much was it again? One stack for one diamond. Okay, how many stacks should I take? That'll be enough, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight stacks of blue, um, light blue wool. I think that'll be all right. I think that'll be fine. Right, let's quickly fly into Clue Corp and let's sleep. Let's quickly jump into... Oh, gosh. Run away from him. Run away. Sprint. All right. Let's quickly put our, um, our mob head in the, in the, in the case. So, Enderman head's here. We've got one spare. Lovely. I still need to collect more. I still need to collect more. While I'm here as well, I'm going to buy some more rockets. I've literally got 35. 35 rockets. All right. Got two stacks of rockets. Chuck my diamond in. Thank you very much. Let's get it. Okay, we need to head over to Sausage's place to um, leave off the stacks of wool and the barrel and telling him what to do. I always get lost of where Sausage's base is. I could look at the map, to be fair. I could look at the map. Oh my gosh. Jeez, how many farms are around here? What even is that? What is this? Oh my gosh. 
door. It's like an a auto smelter thing. What in the world? I'm literally going to have to check the map. I have no idea where Sausage's base is. I don't know where it is. There's the shopping district. Is that Sausage's there? I think. I think it's that one there. So I've just got to go this way and over there. Right, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, it was right. Oh my gosh, look at that tree. I think Jem designed this tree over here. Oh my gosh, Sausage has been busy. It's got like a full-on town happening. Jeez Louise. He's going to have to show me around one day because literally I have no idea what's like going on in this place. Barrel out front. Um, In the barrel, let's put all of the like blue wool in there. Sweet. And then I'll also write the book and then put uh, put it in there as well. So I wrote, hey Sausage, I've left all the wool for you to outline the keep. It needs to be in between the two towers at the back. I'll leave a sign so you know where. I want it big. Thank you. Jimmy, solidarity. Done. Right. Let's put that book right there at the bottom as well. I gave him um a, a stack of blue, light blue wool, but only 60 in that stack and not 64. That looks unprofessional, but that is my middle name. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to grab some iron from my base, go over to my fantasy um place, Take down the already structure that I've got there. The rubbish little cube I've got there outlining. I didn't know how to outline it. Take that down. And we're going to design some walls. Um, I think there's two walls that we need to um, terraform around it. And then build them up. And then our castle is going to be fully encased. So yeah, let's head back and let's get some iron. Hello, chickens. Right, how much have you cooked for me today? Four pieces. I've got so many feathers in here. Jeez Louise. Right, I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. Okay, right. Let's get to work on this fantasy castle.
Okay, right, done. So you obviously saw some terraforming around this mountain bit. I had to get literally rid of all of it, um, bring it all the way down so the wall would actually be there. But I don't know in the last video if I showed you me doing the stained glass windows, done them some light blue and dark blue. I'm pretty sure I actually did that in a stream and not the video. But yeah, we added some stained glass uh, windows to uh, the towers. So I did this wall here. I still need to do the outside of the wall to create some kind of design. But I've basically just done andesite at the moment. This wall here, I showed you guys I did. But also, I actually did this wall as well. If I um, fly outwards and then come back in on it, you can see how I've designed it. So I do a little loop. You can see there, I've kind of done it from going up high to going up low. We kind of land around here. All the walls are going to towers. So I'm basically making it so you can walk on top of all of the walls into the towers. So this one... You can walk all the way through, and I'm making a walkway through the big towers at the front. My plan is to have a massive fence gate at the front of the ta uh, front of the castle, um, and you can walk through to the other tower, and then you can use the wall as well to walk along. Um, I still need to add in the walkway on that one, and then you can walk through that tower. So hopefully, you can walk through this tower to actually inside the keep. But um, yeah, I'm not the best at explaining stuff, but hopefully. My vision that I have. Oh my gosh. I didn't even mean to do that. I'll leave him to it. I'll leave him to it. Hopefully, the vision I have will come will come to life, you know? Hopefully, it comes to life. Right, so I need to get rid of this blue um, outline here for the, another tower. Because another tower is not going to be here. And now, I'm going to get rid of all of this. And this is the area where I want the keep. I kind of want the keep to conjoin onto that tower over there and this tower here. I purposely haven't put the window in because I don't know how I want it at the moment. Like how I how it's going to work. Um, I'll see what kind of structure and what kind of idea Sausage comes up with. But let's get rid of this blue outline. Okay, so I've got rid of the top layer. It's just getting rid of the t uh, all the straight up uh, pillars. All right, last pillar going down. Let me clear it out. We'll leave the sign for Sausage. And hopefully, in a couple days, we'll come back and Sausage would have whipped up a nice framework for us to work with. We will have to wait and see. Okay. I'm going to leave the sign right here. Um, keep here, please. We've done the sign. And hopefully, we'll have to wait and see what comes up. Okay. So, you guys know, obviously, um, the hunting season, it's still in progress. The hunting season is still in progress. Your boy has two trading villager heads. How you feel about that? How you feel about that? So I'm going to take my two heads, all right? My two points. And um, Logic has actually created a scoreboard where you can go over and place your heads down so you can kind of see everyone's um, progress through the hunting season so far. I don't know how long left there is of the hunting season. So I'm going to go along. I'm going to take my two heads. I think that's a pretty good score. And um, and place them in my spot. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's grab my two heads here. There they are. Let's head over there. I'm pretty sure um, it's just been built behind the lodge. I think. So if we go this direction. It was this direction. Um, over here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just behind here. So if we fly in. No. What? What? They didn't even put a name on it. They just said, hello, 21.5 points. Brush shoulder, brush shoulder. Wait, I don't want to be next to that. I'm going right in this corner, back here. <laughs> Whoever's got the 21.5 points, they didn't even put their name on it. I'm putting my name loud and proud. Loud and proud right here. Two points. Leave me and my two points alone. <laughs> that is literally, guys, that is literally me in a nutshell right there. All right, we've got, we might not win this. Guys, if you didn't know, we might not win this competition. It's looking like a stretch at the moment. Oh, I'm a silly sausage. Diamond blocks, guys, are already named from the thing. I'm an idiot. Let me grab my heads. Let me put the sign, give me the sign. Let me put it back like that. Where's mine? There I am. So who's this? Is this Logic? Oh my gosh, Logic. You're having a bubble bath, mate. Two points. 
Oh, gosh. There is actually an end project that is going on. So the plan is we're taking a villager, like, um, hub over to the end. We've already got one in the medieval district, but we're going to move it to the end. Would you guys like to see it? Would you guys like to see it? So here it is so far. I'm just going to fly around and show you. We've got a rainbow circle popping off. So the theme is we're going to have all the villager professions, all right? And each person is going to take a profession and build it relatable to that villager. Um, but we've got a nice little rainbow road going around the side. And it is looking fantastic, don't you think? It's looking so good. It's looking so good. Um, so that's a work in progress at the moment. Logic has absolutely been killing it at this. Look, like this is his whole thing. This is his project. And he's been absolutely killing it. Um, so hopefully, when I completely know which profession I'm doing, um, I'm pretty sure I do know, but I just can't remember it right now. Um, I'll let you know, and we will get building as soon as we can. But this is looking so, so good. Um, and I can't wait for that to actually happen. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Not much going on. Only little pieces, like bits and bobs all over the place. The last thing I need to do, um, I won't do it in this episode. I'll do it in another episode. I need to meet up with Vigo to buy a bearded estate off him. I want an estate on his steampunk, you know, um, area. I want one of those houses. So next episode, I'm hoping that I can meet up with him, buy one, and actually move in. That's what I want to do. I want a house in every single district and not be able to build in every district. Just buy a house in each one. But hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did, and um, subscribe if you have not. Hit the bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Legacy SMP. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!